What's up, guys? Howdy, y'all. My name's Chuck Wagon, and today I'm here to teach you all about the nucleus and why it's so important. That's a picture of me. Now, the nucleus, it's the control center of the cell, you understand? Like, if old high was a cell, then I'd probably say that Miss Lines or Miss Lines and Mr. Brunner are a combination of the two. They'd be the nucleus of old high, right? And if we're talking about a city, then uh, the mayor of a city would be the nucleus. Or if we're talking about a state, maybe the governor of a state would be the nucleus of the state. Now, let's look at the cold hard facts here. The nucleus controls most cell processes, and it contains the hereditary information, which is DNA. You guys remember that crazy model we used to have in the classroom way back in the day? I remember it. It sure was cool. It also coordinates cell activities like protein synthesis and cell division. Now you guys know how important protein synthesis is. I mean, after all, proteins are like the building blocks of all living things. Call carbon-based life. Protein makes it all up. When observing cells under a microscope, like I don't know, I might find some cool kind of weird online lab where we can do that. But if you're looking at a cell under a microscope, the nucleus is going to be the dadgum easiest thing for you to identify because they're gigantic. I'm about to show you some pictures of them here in a minute in this presentation, and you'll be able to see that. All right. Now, uh, there's more. The nucleus, it's not just standalone, guys. It is composed of multiple other parts. You hear? And we're about to look at those parts. A couple parts of the nucleus. Now there are a few more than this, but I just wanted to hit the hit the key players here. The nuclear membrane, or some weirdos call it the nuclear envelope. What's that bad boy do? I'll tell you. It regulates the movements of RNAs and proteins in and out of the nucleus. Now there's another weird little thing inside that there nucleus. It's called the nucleolus, and it is the site of ribosomal RNA productions. Basically, the nucleolus makes ribosomes. Then, that nuclear membrane on the outside, it lets those proteins in and out of there. Also, inside the nucleus are our chromosomes. Mr. Jackson, what the heck's a chromosome? Chromosome is a cool X-shaped thing, and it contains your DNA, all your genetic information. And it basically determines the characteristics that an organism gets through heredity. If you're in my third period class and you remember Shania's Amazing Genius Hour on Heredity, I'm not sure if she ever got to present it, but it was amazing. Shout out to Shania. Uh, but she talked all about chromosomes, the way people inherit different things through their heredity. Now, we're going to look at a few models, images of nuclei. That's nucleus in the plural. I want you to pay extra close attention, all right, because it is going to pay dividends. For your assignment that you're going to be doing later on today, all right? Now, here, listen. Up first, we're going to start nice and simple. If you couldn't tell, this right here, cell, okay? And this big boy right in the middle, you guessed it right. That's your nucleus, okay? This little thing on the inside of that nucleus, that there's the nucleus, and you guessed it, nuclear envelope. It's got these interesting little pores all over it. Let's things in and out, kind of like the pores on your skin do. Now this, this here is a real life picture, not a drawing. All right, and you can see this is a whole cell. We got our plasma membrane, or our cell membrane on the outside. We got the our Golgi apparatus, mitochondria over here, the lysosome, that big boy right there. That's the nucleus. When you're looking at that cell under a microscope, you are easily going to be able to identify your nucleus. Now here, let's zoom in. All right, we're only looking at the nucleus in this one. You can see your nucleolus is in the center here. Here are big chromosomes, which you can really only see the chromosomes if the cell is about to divide, which later on in this unit, we're going to be talking about cell division, just how important and how complicated it is. Uh, here are those nuclear pores on the outside of the nuclear envelope, or the nuclear membrane as I like to call it. And the whole thing, once again, it's your nucleus, all right? Boom. 
if anybody can tell me what kind of sales these are, I'll give you five golden pennies. You can't tell me because this is a strange video recording, but they're plant sales. And I bet you guys already know what that strange little purple dot is right there. You're right. It's the nucleus. Right there's your cell wall. It's the plant cells. But right there, nucleus. Easy to identify. Okay? All right. Now, Mr. Jackson, we sure do know a lot about nuclei, but what the heck is our assignment? Well, children, it's our time. All right? And today, I want you to create your very own model and or drawing of a cell's nucleus. You need to include the three parts that we learned about earlier in the slideshow. I'll review those with you right now. You got, well, the nucleus, which you're drawing or making a model of. And then you've got your nuclear membrane. You have your nucleolus. And you got your chromosomes. <coughs> It can be a drawing on paper. Now, I will say, if you choose to do a drawing on paper, I suggest making a rough draft with a pencil, but then your final copy has got to be in pen or Sharpie or something. Because when you're holding up that paper with just a pencil drawing on it, I can't make out a dang thing. It looks white to me. I don't know why, but I cannot see any of it. All right? I need it to be on, in pen or Sharpie. Uh, maybe it could be a digital model. Created in Google Draw. I'd like that. I think that'd be really easy to do and really easy to turn in. Or some other cool drawing program that I don't even know exists that you could teach me about. Uh, or it could even be a 3D model made out of household goods that you just find laying around all over the place. You got some clay or some Play Doh hanging out. Man, you could make one heck of a nucleus out of that. All right. Now you get to decide. The choice is yours. You need to label each key part of the nucleus, though. And later on in the week, you better be ready to talk about each one of those parts, talk about the nucleus as a whole, and you might want to refresh your memory on some of those other organelles that we talked about last week, all right? After that, you're going to watch this video. I'm not going to click play because it'd be kind of weird watching a video, me watching a video. So I'm just going to let you do that on your own when I share out this, this here slide. Uh, but this slideshow... It's about uh, animal cells in whole, but there's about a solid four and a half minutes of it focused just on the nucleus and the different parts of the nucleus, all right? But you need to watch the whole thing, okay? It'll be a good refresher for your memories, and uh, it'll cover our topic for today as well. Now, moving past that, uh, I've been watching some of your... Let me move my face here. There we go. I've been watching some of y'all CK-12s, and some of y'all doing a good job. You're getting on top of it. You're busting out quick. It's easy peasy. Now, others of you, you're starting to fall behind. I want you to go in and check. Make sure you got all those CK-12s done, all right, here? Because I'd hate to have to bring the sheriff to town. Let's see. Next slide. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the slide, guys. I guess now it's time for me to share a special little song I wrote just for you guys. Nucleus, nucleus. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all have a great day. Dang, I can never stop the video one time. Where, where's the stop button? Every time with this. Why is it gonna? <laughs>